Here we are, here now uh, at the uh, Routinier, can, can I say, at day of uh, right. uh, how many years you come? I, d I think at least 20 something, 30, I don't know. It seems <laughs> like a lifetime anyway. <laughs> it seems as if you are uh, some from Maastricht, in fact. Oh. Well, I, I'm happy to be here when I'm here, but I'm very happy to be back in England afterwards, provided we've sold some pictures, which we have done. I see some red dots. Yes, we have some red dots. Yeah. We have yet to sell our, our most important painting, though, which is this portrait here by okay. Baron Girard. Yeah. Uh, the last great royal portrait done by the artist, and probably indeed done in France, because this was done even before the coronation of King Charles X. Well, and what period is that? It's painted in 1825. He had succeeded Louis, the four, Louis the 18th yeah. uh, a few months earlier, and he decided that, unlike his brother, who had not been crowned, he would be crowned in the traditional ceremony in Reims yeah. Cathedral. And he was the 28th King of France to be crowned there. But here, this painting was commissioned in order to show the people of Paris, or the people of France, what the coronation ceremony would amount to, yeah. uh, what, what, what he was going to be look like at that ceremony. So this was painted even before the ceremony itself. Yeah, yeah. I and see. he posed in the robes and the uniform and the, all this stuff yeah. with this fantastic crown. It's worth yeah. looking at the crown closely. And of course, it's an imaginary setting. Um, it's intended to evoke a royal yeah. palace. And the painting was on show already by the time of the coronation, yeah. uh, got tremendous attention. And afterwards, the artist's studio produced a large number of replicas, ones given to the Duke of Wellington yeah, yeah. and various people. This really is a reflection of French history, 700, 800 years of French history in one person. And it all ends in 1830. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. the Republican movement in France in the 1880s was so keen to make sure they'd have a, no more kings of France that the crown, they sold the jewels and melted it down. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of, a, uh, <laughs> kind of a tragedy there because it would have obviously yeah. an element in it's part of French history. So it could be something for French collectors then, no? <laughs> we hope it could be for a great museum, yeah. anybody with a very large house. Um, yeah. Yeah. and uh, yeah. who would like to have, as I say, a great representation of, of, a, of a, an extraordinary French royal portrait. Yeah. Must be your most expensive piece here On in the, the stand here, yes, it is. It yeah, is yeah. Just, uh, it's just over, we're asking 2.2 million euros for it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And... Um, is there already uh, interest? Uh, we do have interest in the painting, yes. We yeah, do, yeah. happily. Not yet sold, so uh, <laughs> no, no. there's an opportunity for somebody out there, <laughs> we hope. Yeah.